Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the Transformers Cyberverse Deluxe Class Build-A-Figure Bumblebee with Mech Adam Build-A-Figure part. Now, this is a good-looking Bumblebee and more representative to the Cyberverse cartoon, looking way better than this version. I like this version a lot more than this one. And better than this version. That's just for comparison. But, yeah, I don't have any other comparisons, but we do have his weapons here. We got the Stinger. And his blaster he had in the show. Why not? And we got both parts from Adams. I had this torso piece, but I didn't have this piece. So, yeah, we got most of Mech Adams built. At least 25%. We're still missing his arms, his legs, and his head. This is probably my second build a figure I've had in my collection. The original one I have is the Star Wars Spy Droid, which I've had for many years. If I get this complete, we'll show them off next to that. Why not? Say why not. And now we're going to get down to Transforming Bumblebee, which is very simple. We flip these panels out. Uh... We untab this. Okay. Oh, there goes the door popping off. <laughs> Pain in that door. Come on, baby. Oh, crud. Did I break it? No, I just popped it off the tab. Thank God I didn't break it. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just plop these doors loose like so and then we can fold these legs out flip out his feet if I can get him to work come on come on bumblebee come on come on come on there we got one foot all done second verse but the first you flip out these feet fold in these panels you flip out the feet from there Fold out, the, fold the panels inwards, and then you got the legs all done and ready to go. Okay, we fold these arms down. There we got the arms ready to go. Flip them all the way downwards. Fold this upwards. Fold up the head, and then we record this back down. Straighten out his arms like this. And there we have Bumblebee almost transformed. And now he's ready for battle. And the wings, we just somehow fold them backwards on the backpack. And there we got Bumblebee transformed. Yeah. And yeah, I do like. This bumblebee is a pretty good bumblebee. Mm. Let's see. To work. Yeah, that is probably right for the transformation. And there we got Bumblebee all ready for battle. And he's on ball joints. His arms are really articulated. Ball jointed shoulders, pretty good. Hinge legs, ball jointed knees, and kick. I mean, like, take this, Decepticon. Why not? There, I say, why not? Yep. And now we're going to give him his weapons of choice. His stinger, which is the best stinger I've ever seen on this particular Bumblebee. You'd be like, take this, Decepticon. My stinger will freeze you cold. 
So we'll bring in any Decepticon. And let's say he's going to sting a sound wave and be like, Bleh. Can't move. Curse you, Autobot. Ha <laughs> ha. Do better than that to beat me, Soundwave. And yeah, I used an R&D Soundwave. I couldn't help it. I don't have Cyberverse Soundwave. I really got to get around to getting them, for sure. Not a bad-looking Bumblebee, if I do say so myself. Now I'm going to bring in the other Bumblebees for comparison. Why not? Why not? In their robot modes. Don't work. Come on. Ooh. Plopped out a wheel on Deluxe Cyberverse Bumblebee, which is real easy to do. The original Deluxe. So now we just flip it down and around. And here we got the original Deluxe. This one ain't too bad, but this one's better for the cartoon accuracy. And just because we're going to bring in the Scout Class Bumblebee, why not? Because I have this figure for a while, and I enjoy transforming it. I can get it to properly hinge, in words. And here we got the Scout Class Bumblebee, looking pretty Bumblebee as well. But yeah, this is my favorite Bumblebee from Cyberverse this year. And I'm so glad to finally own this guy. I got Megatron and I got Bumblebee. I still need Optimus Prime. Why not? Why not? But each hand is a different for the Stingers. Why not? But this is my favorite formation for the Stinger, and he can still use his gun and be like, Take this, Decepticon. Let's get out of here, Windblade. Let's roll out. Let's roll out, Windblade. We can get out of here together. Bumblebee in the house. And yeah. Is this figure worth getting if you're a Cyberverse fan? Yes, I found Cyberverse to be one of the interesting Transformers cartoons. It's a fun toy line as well and these figures are pretty cool looking sure it's not g1 accurate as i would like it to be but they are so much fun to transform and display and i'm so glad to have this one in my collection finally will i pick up the other parts to build my build a figure of mech adams if i could find the rest of them we're definitely going to build up good old Mech Adams here. Maybe they'll ha have them in Ollie's on sale or something. We'll have to see. Because I will be going to Ollie's in November. And probably going to go to the Monroeville Exchange next month. Which is when I go next month. So I look forward to seeing what I find from them. And... Before we end this video, we're going to show off what we're going to do starting Tuesday. We have these Super Wings Transformers toys. They are technically not Transformers, but they're little kids Transformers. They're little jets that transform into little robots. And they kind of remind me of Aerial Bots. So I cannot wait to review that very soon. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. But yeah, now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land. Bye.